We're here at Poetry Key. I am going to walk you through my power system, solar wind battery system. The brain center for the uh, power system is housed behind the outhouse of all places. And in here we have a Xanthrix Freedom SW2000 pure sine wave inverter. Shows a percentage of battery power. On this side here we have uh, solar and turbine, wind, wind generator power coming in. Here's the switch. The switch is in the on position. If you flip it to the off position, um, it will short the uh, turbine and the turbine will stop turning and stop producing power. It's on a 50 foot 4 inch tower that is hinged to the rock uh, at the top of that uh, little hill. Solar power coming in here you can see the battery charge and the uh, amps of uh, solar power coming in uh, to the system. Pretty cloudy day today and we're still getting uh, still getting uh, 5 amps from the uh, 310 watts of solar panels on top of the outhouse. That smaller solar panel is for a uh, uh, solar pan or uh, outhouse fan. Battery banks. The battery bank one, which is six X side. Uh, AGM batteries, about 115 amp hour batteries. It's battery bank one. Battery bank two is my original bank of uh, orbital uh, 50 amp hour batteries each, 200 amp hours a second bank. The power is uh, connected to a uh, Perco switch that has uh, positions one, all, two, or off. Obviously, in uh, relation to the battery banks one two or all the reason I've got it set up one two or all is uh, uh, the generators also hooked up to uh, the uh, Xantrix inverter uh, and you don't want to charge both battery banks at the same time being there's set different size batteries so I'll charge one and then flip to the other we have wind and solar on the Perco switches on this side um, on this side on the left is the solar on the right is wind the left side, uh, when you switch to switch one, you are charging from the solar panels to battery bank one. If you switch to two, you're going from the solar panels to battery bank two. On the right perco switch from the wind turbine, again, uh, position one charges the, uh, puts the power into the, the battery bank one. Uh, position two puts them into battery bank two. Uh, down below, Less than desirable spot probably, but it seems to work because it's nice and cool. And that's a Yamaha, uh, a Yamaha 3000 watt uh, generator that is uh, remotely started from inside the cabin. We'll go in there in a minute and I'll show you that setup. Uh, the nice thing about this uh, generator is, uh, besides the remote start, is uh, it works so nicely with the uh, Santrix inverter. When you flip it on, it'll uh, immediately bypass the inverter, but uh, also uh, back charge the battery banks. And again, I'll charge those in sequence one and then two, or whichever one needs it. Um, just to prove that we are producing some power from the wind turbine, you can see that needle is moving a little bit, showing up about uh, oh three amps of power in a 12 volt system. So. 30, 40 watts, I suppose, 30 or 40 uh, watts of power. It was sitting at 5 and running pretty steady a while ago. All right, I'll take you inside. Inside the man cave, which is underneath the bunkhouse, we have uh, a couple things. A washing machine, or actually a dryer, when I build an area for washer and dryer. Regular panel. Uh, 
regular breakers just like you'd see in a panel uh, at home. Uh, wiring probably not done to code but it gets the job done. An interesting thing we just added to the key is a freezer that I've turned into a refrigerator using a Johnson controller uh, which you're over, able to override the freezer's normal uh, process by just shutting it down uh, when it meets the temperature that you have it set. Got a uh, keeping track of how much power it uses with a kilowatt. Uh, we are going to uh, uh, right now I got worms and beer those are I think two of the four major food groups. The plan for this setup is uh, to build a collar around this, turn this into what guys call a keezer and then uh, pipe uh, a couple of uh, kegs from here up into the bunkhouse um, and have uh, taps right on the back wall of the afterburner bar. We've got more power set up on uh, the main power in the cabin. Uh, DC, AC to DC converter to uh, power a radio, uh, a cigarette lighter for the Sirius radio. We just added this yesterday, which is a Xantrix Link Pro, uh, which keeps track of my battery banks. There you see battery bank one is showing 12.81 uh, volts. Shows the outflow power, how many amp hours, battery percentage, how many hours are left before it needs to be charged. The aux, that's battery bank two. So a pretty good uh, battery monitor, still trying to get used to it a little bit. And that's the power system.